Right. Assalamualaikum and very good morning. So, for our online class uh, this morning, we're going to have uh, uh, doing the exercise with the topic of the material requirement planning. So, we have a practice problem here. Before that, for those Muslim, we start uh, our class with reciting Surah Al Fatiha. <coughs> okay, shall we start now? Again, we have a 
right this uh, problem with the uh, MRP material requirement uh, topic. So the problem here is about uh, drawing the product structure tree and developing the material requirement planning based on numbers of lot sizing techniques that we have. So let's get started to this. The Honeycat and Hellock Corporation makes two versions of the same basic file cabinet and this toll or top of line line top of the line five drawer five cabinet and the HQ high quality uh, product with the five drawer filing cabinet and the tool and HQ use the same cabinet frame and locking mechanism and the drawer assembly are different although both use the same drawer same assembly and the drawer assemblies for the tool cabinet use sliding assembly that requires four bearing per side Whereas the HQ sliding assembly requires only two bearings per side. So these bearings are identical for both cabinets. For both cabinet types. And 100 tool and 300 HQ5 cabinet need to be assembled in with tank. So there are no current stock as is. So what do we need to do by this uh, practice problem? We need to develop a material structure tree or product structure tree for the tool and the HQ file cabinet. Before we develop the product structure tree, we must understand and identify what of component or sub-assembly involved in the production of this uh, product. So, from this problem, we can identify that, that we have a product named tool and HQ high quality product. So, we have two type of product here. And addition to the information for the product, mention that five drawer five, five drawer five cabinet and the five drawer filing cabinet. So which is mean that we have a five drawer five and also we have five drawer five also so we have here so we have here a component for the tool in HQ we find drawer file cabinet for both of the product for the tool and HQ have a five drawer uh, filling or filing uh, cabinet. So it is identified that these two components is uh, similar that used in the production of tool and HQ. So as mentioned in the first sentence here, the company makes two versions of the same basic file cabinet. So there is a high probability of these two products use similar uh, component in the assembly process. So what we have next, the tool and HQ use the same cabinet frame and locking 
mechanism. So there is another here is another um, component that have uh, that has been used for both of the tool and HQ, which is a cabinet frame and locking. And and the drawer assembly are different, although both use the same drawer frame. Okay, so we have here another component that used in this uh, production process. The drawer assembly are different. And although both use the same drawer frame, assembly the drawer assembly for tool and cabinet use sliding assembly and require four uh, bearing per side, whereas the HQ sliding assembly require only two bearing per side. This bearing identical for both cabinet and HQ5 cabinet need to be assembled in week 10. So we have also information about the drawer assembly. So the drawer assembly, if we notice in the first paragraph here, we also have a component of drawer, right? A component of drawer. So these two identical component is uh, the same component that mentioned in the first background are uh, different although both use the same drawer frame so this is drawer frame so we also knew that the drawer assembly the drawer frame assembly is referring to the this component okay so referring to this so we need to carefully understand so what the uh, problem try to convey in the information and data in the text. So the drawer assembly, so we have here the drawer assembly, the drawer assembly for the toe cabinet use sliding assembly. So we have a sliding assembly here for the toe. And we have for the sliding assembly it requires four bearing. Per side, whereas the HQ sliding, the HQ sliding assembly requires only two bearing per side. So the HQ sliding. So yes, only two bearing per time. Okay, so that is the uh, component or uh, assembly process in the making of the tool and HQ. So what we have, uh, the number of component that we have here, uh, one, Two, three, and three and one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Five, yes, five. So we have five here, right? So 
Let's we develop the product structure tree together. And I need to insert. This slide. Right. Should we have Okay. Now we have action. It is for So we have uh, two products here. We have two products here, uh, Toll and HQ. So for, so Toll and HQ is at level zero for the product structure tree of bill of material. And for the level one for of product tool and HQ will be a drawer, right? So we have a drawer file. We have a drawer file high quality. So we have a drawer file here for both tool and so we draw the link. Draw the link. One, two, three. Okay, so at the level zero here, we have uh, a drawer file, a drawer file, or we can call it as a drawer assembly here. We have here draw assembly. Yeah, we have the right name for the component. Draw five assembly. I think we should know.
And next, we have information about the cabinet frame and locking mechanism. Cabinet frame and locking mechanism here. So, so I'm not meant. So we have a cabinet frame and locking mechanism, yeah. And we also have a draw frame assembly. And next, mention that here, the drawer assembly are different, although both use the same drawer frame and assembly. The drawer assembly for the tool cabinet use sliding assembly, use sliding assembly. So we knew that We have a drawer frame assembly. And the drawer assembly cabinet use sliding assembly. Oh, missing one of the So we have here the drawer assembly for the tool cabinet use sliding assembly that require four bearing per side, whereas the HQ, uh, HQ sliding assembly requires only two bearing per side. So these bearing are identical for both cabinet types. So we knew that for the drawer assembly have two component sliding assembly with the four bearing and have a HQ sliding assembly requires only two bearing per side. So we have sliding assembly here. We have sliding assembly here. Mm, wait a minute. Uh, try to understand. That require four bearing per side. Draw frame. Refine draw frame cabinet. Quality cabinet frame working cabinet. So five five drawer. Okay, we have a five drawer. And so use the same cabinet frame and locking mechanism. The draw assembly are different, or we both use the same draw frame. The draw assembly 
how different the material will be seen from the same chamberlain. The drawers look for the both the cabinet use a sliding assembly that requires Okay, we have here a sliding assembly. Bearing for sign. Oh. So we have here bearing for bearing for the two and two bearing for the HQ. Okay. So, do we have a complete or the right product structure tree right now? Right, let me double check. So, we have a top line uh, of product with drawer five with the drawer five and both product have a cabinet frame and locking mechanism and for the drawer assembly have a drawer frame assembly have both use the same drawer assembly for the drawer assembly have drawer frame assembly the drawer assembly for the two cabinet use sliding assembly is it right Okay, so we have drawer assembly here, right? Drawer assembly, here. drawer assembly here. Although different, um, both use the same drawer assembly. The drawer assembly for the two. Both use the same drawer assembly.
So we have draw assembly here. And also we have drawer frame assembly. So we have here we have a drawer assembly, not a drawer frame, drawer frame assembly. And we have drawer frame assembly. So this is uh, two different components, right? So this is two different components. So we have here under the drawer assembly, we have drawer frame assembly. So we have drawer frame assembly actually. So we have drawer frame assembly. So under this, we have drawer frame assembly actually. quite complicated to understand, but we try our best to get the right product structure tree. So we have a drawer assembly here, let's see. We move this, and we can have this. And so we have So now we have a drawer frame, drawer assembly, and associated to the uh, drawer assembly, we have drawer frame assembly. And the drawer assembly for the two cabinet use sliding assembly. So let me see here. Mention that here the drawer assembly for the tool cabinet also use drawer frame assembly. Quite confusing, right? So quite confusing.
Okay, welcome back. I'm sorry for the inconvenience of our uh, this morning class. We have suddenly have a breakout. So, uh, we need to So, can someone remember what we do at, for the last progress of product structure tree that we have? And in So, this is consume much of time so we need to do it in as fast as it could so here we have to let's see oh. we have to and we have hq right so after we have tool and HQ, what, what the others is that? Ah. Okay. So we have product for tool and we have product for HQ. And also we have drawer assembly, right? So here you mentioned about the, the numbers of quantity for the drawer, but we have the component name as a drawer assembly, right? So we have drawer assembly here, drawer assembly here, drawer assembly. So we have drawer assembly, name it as a drawer assembly. We have drawer SMD and also we have cabinet frame and locking mechanism, right? Cabinet frame and locking mechanism. Okay. If you notice that we have Swing from the last progress of our product structure tree. Please mention it to me. Control C. Control B. We need to have a fast swing. So, so under the draw assembly, what do we have? And for the last, we have uh, draw frame assembly, right? Tu tak, saya pun tak tak apa-apa nak ingat dah ni. Save tadi kan. So we have banyak lagi ni nak buat ni. Okay, we have drawer assembly, right? So, okay. Betul tak, saya pun dah tak ingat dah ni. Yang ni kan? Betul kan? Dekat ujung tu ada intang tu kan? Haa? Huh? Locking. Locking. Kan, yang last kita dapat yang ni kan? Yang kita edit-edit tu, kita dapat yang ni kan? Sampai sini je saya ingat. So, so. We have cabinet frame. Okay, so we have the link here. Yeah. For... Right, so we have
and also we have um the same structure right we have the same structure right so just copy from this ah okay. mm. Okay, so what next that we have from the last progress of our product structure tree? So we have cabinet frame and locking mechanism and under the uh, tool and HQ, we also have a, a drawer assembly, right? And the drawer assembly have a drawer frame assembly for the both tool and HQ. And for the tool cabinet use sliding assembly right sliding assembly so we have a sliding assembly here control c sliding assembly mana pula dia pergi sliding ni okay we have sliding assembly here. Okay. Betul tak? Kita last dengan ni eh. Setakat ni. Betul tak? Yang kita edit tu. Oh, tak salah saya. Yang mula-mula tu kita letak bearing di sini kan. Dan kita edit kan. Okay. okay. Uh, kemudian kita tengok lagi. Ada lagi satu komponen. So the last component for this product is uh, bearing, right? Bearing, uh, bearing for both of the uh, product. So we have bearing, bearing. Yeah, we just copy the bearing. So remember that bearing is under the sliding assembly. So. Because you mentioned here the drawer assembly for the tool cabinet use a sliding assembly. Sliding assembly that requires four bearing per side, whereas the HQ sliding assembly requires only two bearing per side. So which means that under the sliding assembly we have another component called bearing. Called bearing. So we have bearing here. Bearing. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. So we have complete our uh, relationship in the product structure tree for the two product and for the HQ product. So now we don't, uh, but we still have a lack of, of information from the product structure tree that we have here. Uh, it's about the usage for the component, usage for the component. So back to the uh, this uh, explanation on the product. So what we have here, uh, two portion of the cabinet, top five, five drawer. So we knew that for the drawer assembly have a five unit to produce one unit of tool and HQ. So we have five unit for this, five unit. So the usage here is five, right? Usage here is five. 
macam mana nak saya nak buat ni kita masuk sana boleh lah kan boleh lah kamu faham lah kan buat assembly so we have pi here for both of product and also we mention here in the second paragraph the tool and HQ use the same cabinet frame and locking mechanism so in this sentence the problem didn't mention any uh, unit usage for the uh, for the uh, component of cabinet frame and locking mechanism so we assume that this component only use one unit to produce in the last assembly process of uh, for tool and HQ so we put it as one and also we have here one right so in the next is about drawer frame assembly and sliding assembly under the drawer assembly under the drawer assembly ah oh, forgot to record it oh still in progress right So what we have here The drawer assembly are different although both use the same drawer frame assembly Again, in this sentence, did I mention any uh, Did I mention specifically about the unit usage So we assume that the drawer frame assembly also have one unit for both of the product tool and HQ. For tool and HQ. One unit. And also here is one unit. And what else we have? Uh, the draw assembly for the tool cabinet use sliding assembly that requires four bearing. Okay. Again, for the sliding assembly, also did I mention the unit, uh, the specific uh, of unit usage. So we also assume that the sliding assembly only have one unit. One unit. So we have here one unit. Why? Why? Allah Akbar Okay And also we have here uh, A bearing Right, bearing, a bearing component, but you mentioned here the unit usage for the sliding assembly of the tool product use four bearing per side. Use four bearing per side. So it means that we need to. We need to multiple by two. Multiple by two. They get a per side, kan? which is mean normally we have a two side of a drawer or um, sliding, right? Kalau kita ingat drawer tu, yang yang ada sliding tu, dia ada kiri kanan, dia punya sliding, kan? Ada kiri kanan, dia punya sliding, kan? So, we knew that the sliding have a uh, two side so each side use uh, four bearing so mean that we have uh, four bearing multiple with two for the for the four bearing for the tool or hq for the tool so we have two multiple by two so we have 
A usage unit usage here yeah? and for the HQ we have two bearing per side multiple by two so we have four bearing Okay, ah, we are almost at the end of the hour class for this morning, 9.43. So here we have a stride product structure tree for the tool product and HQ product. So the next question is about to develop the material requirement plan for the tool in HQ cabinet from the previous example that we have in product structure tree. So uh, the question two is related to the, uh, relate to the uh, answer in the question one. So Since we don't have enough time to proceed with the next question, two, three, four, and five, yeah. What we have at the five problem here. Yeah. Economic of the quantity. And we also have problem six. Okay, we have to develop the gross material requirement for tool in HQ cabinet. And also we need to develop uh, material requirement planning for the tool in HQ cabinet by, uh, and this problem also provide additional information about the lead time, about the lead time. So remember that, remember that when we develop developing the material requirement planning for the toll and HQ product, beside the lead time uh, and all this information, the other the important information include the lot sizing technique. But in this problem here. It didn't mention any uh, lot sizing technique that should be used for each of the <coughs> for each of the component for the tool and HQ product. So by default in the material requirement planning system, by default, it will use lot for lot. So if in this case, didn't if this in this case didn't mention any of lot sizing technique that should be used. So we will using the default in the uh, MRP system, which is lot for lot. So please take note to complete the problem three, uh, we're going to use a lot sizing technique for the whole of the lot, uh, for the whole of the component that we have for the product tool and HQ. Baik, saya nak kamu cuba buat sendiri dulu. Ada kesempatan nanti kita sambung lagi pada kita hari ini hari apa? Hari Kamis sudah kan? Hari Kamis. Hari Ahad. Kamu kelas hari, hari Senin. Okey, pada hari Senin kita sambung lagi. Uh, saya nak kamu cuba buat. Saya rasa tak sempat macam banyak ni kan. Kamu cuba buat dan kita akan pergi kepada problem yang Kamu rasa kita perlu perbincangan, jadi kita akan pergi ke problem tertentu sahaja. 
kau nak selesai saya rasa takut tak habis juga macam tadi buat produk structure tree pun kita slow kan kita slow je buat kan sebab susah sikit nak buat secara online ni kalau nak buat cepat-cepat kalau dekat whiteboard tu kita boleh draw draw kita draw dia punya produk structure tree yang mana tak betul kita padam cepat je kan ni susah sikit ok uh, jadi saya nak kamu buat cuba buat sendiri dahulu berkaitan dengan uh, permasalahan yang lain dan seperti yang saya katakan tadi dalam problem yang ketiga ini dia tidak nyatakan lot sizing teknik yang sepatutnya kita gunakan untuk setiap komponen jadi oleh kerana tidak diberi maklumat berkaitan lot sizing teknik kita akan gunakan uh, lot sizing teknik yang default di dalam MRP system iaitu lot for lot by default dalam MRP system ianya adalah lot for lot kan dalam dalam MRP system by default dia adalah lot for lot jadi dia, kita akan gunakan dengan andaian bahawa semua komponen menggunakan lot sizing teknik lot for lot dan yang ni apa dia Oh, yang ni berkaitan tak? Hmm. Okey, yang ni dia kata gunakan log for log. Yang ni. Yang ni sepatutnya tak perlu kan Sebab dah kita dah buat dalam problem 3 Ataupun ada perubahan tu, tu. Oh ada perubahan Okay Okay for the problem 4 We have ada uh, We have additional information about the gross requirement plan For the tool So compare to the previous problem We only have a gross requirement of 100 unit, right? 100 unit of uh, two cabinet, right? 100 unit of two cabinet. But for the in the problem four, we have 100, we have 50 in period three, we have 100 in period five, and we have 50 in period seven and 100 in period ten. So we have additional. Gross requirement for the two in the problem four, and for the problem six, still have using the same gross requirement for the two, but we have a different lot sizing technique used. We have we using the part period balancing for the problem six. And for the problem five, we have economic order quantity. So that's all uh, for this for today class. Sorry for the uh, blackout during the online class today. So we continue our class in next coming uh, uh, next week on the Monday. And for we end our Uh, class we for pagi yang bangun Islam kita sudahi kelas kita pada pada pagi ini dengan surah al uh, terima kasih semua sorry ya hari ini blackout lah tengah-tengah aduh